started playing in a pub in South London, just for fun, to let off steam. We couldn't really play our instruments, um, but we just made a fearful row each, each night. And uh, the audiences seemed to love it. We signed a, a recording contract with EMI Records, released a couple of uh, singles, and uh, grabbed a television series called Do Not Adjust Your Set. Half of the Monty Pythons were in it. Eric Idle, Michael Palin, uh, Terry Jones. It was a really crazy little Dada, a surreal bit of television. Moving on from the Bonzos, in uh, 1971, uh, we'd done a couple of tours of America, which were great, but uh, things were just disappearing a bit. So I started working with Gus Dudgeon, and Gus had just done an Elton John album, and suggested that, I, that Elton has a tap dancer, which is what I was doing as well, on his, um, on his new album on a track called I Think I'm Gonna Kill Myself. It got a call from Elton saying, look, I'm doing a tour of America. Uh, will you come and uh, tap dance on my tour? So I got some outfits made, jumped across the Atlantic in a first class aeroplane. And uh, Elton and I just did the most wonderful tour in 1972. Did the same thing with Eric Clapton, tap dancing a couple of years later. Probably the most favorite time of my life was when I was doing these tours in America because they were just absolutely mad, mad times. But now, now, I'm putting all this down in a book. And it's been great fun doing it, great fun writing it, but finally came back to, to England and finally got married. I didn't think I was ever gonna get married, but I, but I did. And uh, to a gorgeous girl called Sarah, and we have two girls, twin girls. All my life I've gone from extreme, I guess. I've been rich, I've been poor, I've been sober, I've been drunk. Larry went out for There you are. Uh, <laughs> no, sorry.